we're about to delve into the tarnished world of glitz, glory and power, where a horrifying truth has been unearthed, exposing the sinister side of, of the celebrity sphere. Recent court documents have shed light on the unsettling activities of the late Jeffrey Epstein, painting a picture of his interactions with his victims. One unsettling revelation is Epstein's alleged statement to a victim that the former US president, Bill Clinton, had a preference for younger individuals. This chilling comment coupled with the frequent mention of Clinton's name in the documents has spurred inquiries about his association with Epstein. The papers also highlight Epstein's ties to British royalty, specifically Prince, the Duke of York faces allegations of imposing himself on a minor which he fervently rebuts, though a previous agreement with the accuser complicates matters. We are just at the tip of the iceberg in our comprehensive exploration of Epstein's murky world, a world that coincides with that of the affluent, the renowned and the influential. This scandal has incited disturbance in the sphere of influence and entitlement, unraveling a terrible tale of exploitation and harm. As we journey further into this tangled situation, the ties between Epstein and individuals of high authority become increasingly clear. Unsealed court records have recently unveiled an association between Epstein and ex-president Bill Clinton, an association that was once only a subject of hushed conjecture. Epstein is quoted in these documents as telling one of his victims, Johanna Schoberg, that Clinton has a fondness for the young. While this declaration is certainly shocking, Clinton himself is not directly implicated in any misconduct within these documents. This isn't the initial occasion that Clinton's name has been associated with Epstein. Virginia Jeffrey, an admirable survivor of Epstein's abuses, has previously claimed that she was flown to Epstein's private island in the company of Clinton. But in a recent sworn statement, she retracted her previous claims, stating that she does not remember sharing a helicopter ride with Clinton and Ghislaine Maxwell, Epstein's collaborator. Jeffrey added that Maxwell frequently overrepresented facts, and her initial statement about Clinton was based on what Maxwell had communicated to her. This inconsistency only adds more layers to the already complex narrative. Although it doesn't vindicate Clinton, it does bring into question the credibility of the statements and the reliability of the sources. Amidst these revelations, Clinton's representative has reiterated that the former president was unaware of Epstein's illegal activities and had only ever been on Epstein's airplane four times between 2002 and 2003. Nevertheless, these allegations have cast a shadow over Clinton's reputation, one that may be challenging to eliminate. The Epstein case has laid bare the sinister side of power and privilege, uncovering the horrifying abuses that can transpire when those with power believe themselves to be above the law. It serves as a potent reminder of the need for accountability, irrespective of one's rank status. As the scrutiny over Clinton's involvement continues, another prominent name finds itself amidst the ensuing tempest. Let's now shift our focus to Prince Andrew, who was also known for his close association with Epstein. This friendship with the disgraced financier has raised more than a few eyebrows. Prince Andrew, a notable part of Epstein's social circuit, has found himself in the midst of serious allegations. Virginia Jeffrey, a victim of Epstein's heinous crimes, has pointed her finger at the prince, claiming that he sexually abused her multiple times in locations ranging from London and New York to Epstein's private hideaway. Despite his firm denial of these severe charges, Prince Andrew decided to settle a civil lawsuit with Jeffrey in 2022. This move, however, hasn't done much to silence the public's increasing skepticism and antipathy. The ramifications of these accusations go beyond the courtroom and have had a detrimental effect on the reputation and trustworthiness of the royal family. Furthermore, we must not overlook that these aren't simply allegations against a prince, but a grim testimony to the manipulation and abuse endured by victims at the hands of influential figures. In this intricate story of power, violation and dishonesty, one fact stands out prominently. The victims are those who have borne the brunt of the damage. After these shocking events, the world watched as powerful people were held accountable. Ghislaine Maxwell, Epstein's friend, was found guilty and is now serving a 20-year sentence for her part in these terrible crimes. Prince Andrew, though he denied all claims, ended up settling a civil lawsuit with Virginia Jeffrey in 2022. This 
story doesn't stop in the courtroom. The victims, forever marked by what they've gone through, are working hard to move on. We are all forced to confront the uncomfortable reality of power in the world of celebrities. It's a hard lesson that fame and influence can sometimes hide the worst kind of actions. The uproar even rocked the world of politics with the names of past presidents showing up in court papers. Every new detail, every accusation shakes up those in power and makes us trust them less. At the end of the day, this story isn't just about Epstein, Maxwell or anyone on their own. It's a cold tale of abuse and lies in the upper levels of society. As we uncover the world of the rich and powerful, we're left wondering who else is out there in the dark. Always remember, even powerful people can do bad things and it's important to always tell the vigilant.